So hello, welcome back to Gumadi Coins and Banknotes. And today we're talking about the one shilling from 1928. And this one looks like it might have a die crack from one, or it might just be a scratch. I think it's just a probably yeah, bit hard to make out. So because you can't really tell, I'm just going to say it's just damage. Anyway, so the 1928 one shilling was obviously issued 1928 and it was on the cusp of the Great Depression. And if you don't have a Renix catalog, you can look at Numister website or one of the other online catalogs. And this is a mintage of uh, 664,000 coins. But and it has a value so this one is in fine condition i wouldn't it's not very fine because it has too much wear on it and it has a catalog value of 30 dollars. and i see that the actual coins in very good and fine condition sell for about that much uh, you, if you get it for under that 10 15 20 then you're actually uh, getting a good deal and probably ripping the other seller off so this one is quite nice it has the, so this is the obverse, and it was designed by WHG Blakemore, or maybe he's just the engraver, because this is the initial coat of arms of Australia. And it has the star atop, which represents all the states and territories. It's also on our flag. We have an emu, kangaroo, not too sure what species it is. And we have the Southern Cross in the shields, and I'm assuming that these shields represent all the states, because there's six of them. Advance Australia, 1928, and one shilling, and it has reading on the back. We have the effigy designed by Edgar McKennell of George V. So this is different one. That they use in the UK. Uh, I do have some UK coins. So here we have the UK one. No, that's a one penny. Obviously it's toned. It's actually quite nice. It's like military colours. So this is the effigy used by George V in the UK. And this is the one used by George V in Australia. And I think Canada. And some other countries. Generally those that are not. UK so probably Fiji as well and as you can see it has the crown and he has more of his uh, upper jacket and this one yeah, it's got B, BM so I'm not too sure who designed it I need to look that up anyway so $30 roughly in this condition if you wanted to buy one that is in uncirculated uh, you're probably talking about one to two thousand dollars in gem pretty much five to ten thousand dollars so this does get to be an expensive coin and there are only three errors that you have been found so far so we have a, a dot in the actual eight we have a chinese forgery i'm not sure if this is modern this is probably a, yeah, at the time was a die crack going down between the shield and this reef and the third one is we have an extra dot so it should be three dots after IMP Imperial so instead of having two there should I have three now that's just a normal dot there so they're the only three errors that I know there should be uh, other types of errors like off-center probably Lamination flaws, yeah, they, they're probably a little bit common. Uh, got ram strikes. Uh, oh, what else? Ram strikes. Oh, what's the other one? See, you, you just forget the types of errors that actually produce ram strike, uh, broad strike. That's it. So, ram strike usually is raised, broad strike comes out. So, it just makes the middle quite longer. And they're probably the two that are probably really in demand. And then we have 
Oh, other ones. So we have what's another one in demand? Oh, that's right, the clip planchets. So weird, actually. I think I might have one on the table. Not too sure. Uh, so you do get cuds. Here's a cud. So this is a cud from a Indian one rupee. Cut up there. And do I have clip planchets? I was looking at some other coins the other day. They had them. Okay, they're not on the table. So that is the one shilling from 1928. Obviously, a low mint or oh, four shilling, probably a low mint coin minted. Uh, but not one that actually attracts people's attention because it's not the lowest. That would be, I think it's 19, 1930, yeah, 1933. That's the lowest minted one shilling coin. Anyway, thank you and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time.